Okay. Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm a registered dietitian as well as a chef. So the types of foods that are good for your brain are the type of foods that are good for your overall health and general well-being. So these, um, the diet that would be good for your brain includes one that is rich in different colors of vegetables and fruits. So you want a whole variety of those each and every single day. We also want to make sure that at each of our meals we include a good source of lean protein and complex carbohydrates. So lean protein examples would be things like eggs, chicken, fish, uh, lean pork and beef. Um, if you're vegetarian, you could have beans and legumes, uh, nuts and seeds, tofu would be another uh, great one. And then when it comes to complex carbohydrates, this is just another word of saying carbohydrates are less refined. So instead of focusing on things such as processed cereals or um, a lot of refined uh, crackers or chips, we really want to make sure we're looking for carbohydrates such as uh, baked potatoes we can have. You can also have things like oatmeal, brown rice, uh, quinoa. So those are good sources of complex carbohydrates. By eating in this way, it ensures our blood sugar levels are stable throughout the day. This keeps our brain alert, our emotional um, uh, health and well-being stable, okay, so we never have all these different mood swings, um, and also gives us the energy to carry out our daily uh, needs. So those are the type of foods that are good for our brain. Very good question. So when it comes to this, um, to answer this, there are three main groups of foods that I think, um, or has research has shown to help um, in terms of improved cognitive function. So the first one is omega-3 uh, rich foods. So omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids that our body requires. Now when it comes to omega-3 fats, Believe it or not, our brain is actually made up of about 60% of fat. So we really want to make sure we're feeding our body with the right types of fats. Now, omega-3 rich foods include things like your fish, uh, nuts and seeds, specifically walnuts, chia seeds, hemp seeds are a great source of um, omega-3 fatty acids as well. And then the next group of foods that I, I always like to touch upon are choline rich foods. So these are found in a lot of our lean protein sources. So things like eggs and lean meats such as chicken and turkey and pork and fish, all are good sources of choline as well. So choline is um, a precursor for a neurotransmitter in our brain, so that's why it's important that we do feed our bodies uh, with enough choline each and every single day. Last but not least are antioxidant rich foods. So these are foods um, specifically mostly in our vegetable and fruit category category, but the deeply colored ones are the ones that punch a ton of antioxidants. So avocado is a great one, dark leafy greens, we should be aiming for at least a serving every single day of those. So dark leafy greens being things like kale, your Swiss chard, your spinach, a bok choy would be another great one. Beetroot is fantastic, that deep purple color is another a great antioxidant rich food. Cacao, so that's not really part of our fruit and vegetable category, but chocolate, so raw chocolate in particular is full of um, antioxidants and actually helps dilate our blood vessels. It gives us more blood flow to the brain. So those are the types of foods that are really uh, good for cognitive function.